are filling out his cabinet, or at least who he wants to have in his administration. Our Michael Highland is live in Raleigh with more on the two choices announced today and the hurdles that stand in their way. Michael? Yeah, when Governor Cooper was talking here at the governor's mansion earlier today, he said we'll expect to hear more names soon. But for now, he's telling us who is Pixar to lead the departments of transportation and environmental quality. Major General Jim Trogdon is his choice to be the transportation secretary. He worked for the DOT for more than 20 years in various jobs, but has most recently been in the private sector. And Michael Regan is the choice for DEQ. He's worked for the federal EPA and the Environmental Defense Fund. It's an advocacy group that has been critical of former Governor Pat McCrory and Republicans in the legislature. In the governor's final days in office, lawmakers passed a new law requiring Senate approval for cabinet choices. Cooper says he's confident in both of his picks. Also, really want to begin to develop some transparency and work with all of our stakeholders so that we're operating with pretty much similar information so that we can come to some solutions. It's an honor uh, to be asked to come back in this role and help us move the state forward. A spokeswoman for Republican Senate leader Phil Berger told us, quote, members of the Senate will look forward to reviewing the qualifications of Governor Cooper's cabinet nominees and exercising their constitutional authority to vet them during the upcoming long session. It's still not clear how that process is going to work. Lawmakers are coming back to Raleigh next week on Wednesday, and that's when they're supposed to create the rules that will govern that process. In the meantime, Governor Cooper also announced today eight people to lead various cabinet agencies on an interim basis while this plays out. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS North Carolina. Michael